I'm Katharina Mischer. Next to me is Thomas Traxler, and together we are Studio Mischer Traxler. We are based in Vienna, but actually we, we studied in other countries as well, like we studied in England and in the Netherlands, but as well in Austria. And we met during our studies, and we always li liked collaborating back then. So we did several projects together, and after graduating in 2008, we decided to found the studio in Vienna, actually in 2009. And our approach is rather experimental and um, yeah, conceptual in a way, but not conceptual in the sense that it's just on an image, but more that the story behind has to be logic and clear. <laughs> Thomas is uh, very smart. Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, technical and organized. Yeah, I think Katarina is more, she can connect things very well together, like from different areas and different kind of aspects, not only design. And so I think, yeah, she has a very kind of logic way to communicate projects. And yeah, and a third one as well. Uh, yeah, she's great with colors. <laughs> we are super happy that we got the Young Talent Award. It's, uh, it was really a big surprise and I think what's very special about it is that, that it just gives you, in a way, freedom. And so we don't know exactly what we're going to do, but I'm sure we will find a very interesting project where we can spend the whole award and to develop it and really just to take the time to focus on this project and without kind of any Yes. Restrictions? Restrictions in a way. Probably one project which is very known from us is called The Idea of a Tree. And it is an autonomous solar power production process which is producing one object per day, always from sunrise to sunset. And so the machine starts when the sun is rising and the solar panel is given out energy. And then the production process is reacting and incorporating the different sun intensities of the day. So if there's less sun, uh, the outcome is darker and thinner. And if it's more sunny, it becomes like thicker and paler. So each object basically is a recording of the day and place of production. So it is a yeah, kind of locality-driven recording production process. Yeah, but then we just not just build the machine but as well try to come up with solutions to have very good outcomes. So the machine actually produces uh, objects like, che like benches, uh, side tables, lamps. So we try to make both the process and the outcomes. And a second project that might be interesting is Relumina. Um, it's actually a, pr a project that started with a gallery, but it's taking old lamps and giving them a new life. So we always pair two lamps from the flea market with new technology. So they are connected and have a dialogue via light. And in between them there's a fluorescent tube to make them uh, shine in all directions. And we like that a lot because it shows that you can take the the history of certain architectural things like lamps and still bring them towards a next level with new technology, which we think is very interesting. We once actually exchanged with Oscar Sieta a copper blob stool uh, with a bench from the Theodore of a Tree project which we made for his wife's birthday. birthday I think, yeah. Yeah, so we kind of have now a plop copper stool from the collection and we are very happy because we really like the process how it's done because it's a very clever technical but still very easy in a way process which is mm. super interesting <laughs>